Hey, welcome to Get Weld Soon. We're gonna do a little tube weld today. I'm gonna show you how to put the root in. A lot of people have trouble putting a good TIG root in. Okay, I'm gonna show you how it's done. First, you wanna get it clean inside. Okay, we're TIG welding. TIG welding has to be clean, very clean. Okay, I like to use 1 8 inch wire. So I like to fit it up just so it'll slide freely through there. That's where you want it. When you tack it, it's gonna draw a little bit and then and then I'll show you. Don't be putting no giant tacks in there. Quarter inch, okay? Flip it over to the opposite side and make sure it didn't draw up on you. If it did, just open it up just a little bit because you, you can bend that tack just a little. Open it up. We don't want it drawn up too much yet. Now you got those two tacks in, you want to look in there and make sure each side is the same. Got them all tacked up. Now look inside, make sure they're good. Here's a little shot from the inside of one of my tacks. Show you what it should look like. A little bit of push through. The walls are melted down. There's no, didn't leave any bevel lines on there. So here's the deal. This is the easiest way to learn, okay? I like doing this. Uh, a lot of people will say, oh, your gap has to be wide enough to fit your, fit your wire inside. It, if you get it that big when you're trying to learn, well, then you have nothing to, to rest your, your wire on, really, okay? It's just sitting there in an open gap. This way, it's just small enough that it will hold your wire. It won't let it through. But just lay that wire on there, and as it melts, just, just feed just a little bit as it goes, okay? That makes it a lot easier, and it's really fast. So when you fire up on the tack, you wanna stay on that tack just for a minute. You can see that it's flowing on the inside. Make sure it's flowing good first before you start adding wire. Then you just stick your wire in there just a little bit and basically just run over it. Uh, I start struggling here just a little bit. I'm trying to, <laughs> I can't see my tungsten very good because I'm trying to stay out of the way of the camera. So I'll, I'll almost stick my tungsten here, but anyway, you're just running over it, basically feeding just a little bit of wire. So here I reposition and uh, pick up right where I left off, uh, heat it up good, and then I start adding wire, coming on up, just running over it, feeding just a little bit of wire. And right here I'm about to tie in, uh, see I leave a little hole, you want to get it good and hot and add a little wire in there, and then uh, just go up slow, that way it ties in really good to that tack. I didn't feather the tacks or anything. It's a good idea to do that uh, to ensure a good, good, good fusion. But anyway, just go up slow and watch right here. You can see the tack move right there. You see it. You can see it shift. Uh, that means it's definitely breaking down and flowing even on the inside. Now here it is starting from that side tack and bring it the rest of the way up all the way to the top. I just changed camera positions. Same thing, just heat it up and before you start adding wire and then bring it on up. Add just a little bit at a time. Whoop, a little slip there. <laughs> it happens. And uh, right here I'm about to tie in. You wanna heat it up real good and add just a little bit of wire. And uh, make sure it flows together good. Make sure it looks good on the, on the inside. That's, that's the important part, the inside of the root. When you pull out, drag out slowly to prevent fish eyes. Then you just do the exact same thing on the opposite side to finish it up. So this is after I completed the root. Uh, you can see uh, everything's broke down really good. You can't see any beveled edges. Um, this is about as close as I could get my camera anyway. Uh, there's a little push through all the way around it. I do have one little lump there on the bottom. Sorry, I'm a little rusty. It's been a little while since I put a root in like this, but... Anyway, that's pretty much what you're looking for. You, you'd rather have push through than suck back. You definitely don't want any suck back. That will bust you on the test. And uh, the little lump I got at the bottom there, uh, it was definitely less than uh, an eighth of an inch. An eighth of an inch is normally the max you can have on the inside of the root. Woo, it is smoking hot. If you need some sleeves to weld when it's hot, you can wear your t-shirt, just throw some sleeves on. I'll leave a link below. And uh, also, I really like these Casey 
TIG hoses. Super flexible, the one I had before, I don't remember the name of it, but it was horrible. It was like fighting a fire hose. So that's all of this video. I hope you learned something. I hope that helps you out on your TIG route. If you get that gap just right, you can just lay your wire in there and basically just run over it. Uh, just burn it hot. I like to burn, I put my root in about 120 amps uh, with a 1 8 70S wire. And uh, that's the way I like to do it. Seems like when you do 1 8, you don't have to fight or worry about any suck back. It just lays right in there. And uh, normally, hey buddy. Normally you'll have, this is my little puppy. Normally you'll have a, a little push through, which is what you want. You definitely don't want any suck back. But uh, anyway, 1 8 wire, tight 1 8 gap works great. By the way, the next video, I'm gonna be filling this thing out and get it ready to cap. Okay, very important. Uh, if you're trying to cap over a bunch of mountains, it's probably not gonna look very slick. So uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna show you how to get it nice and smooth and even around. Okay?